from New York City. I want y'all to give it up to my man, holding it down. Y'all gonna y'all gonna like this cat. I like this cat a lot. Give it up for my man, Taylor Molly. In case you hadn't realized, it has somehow become uncool to sound like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> or believe strongly in what you're, like, saying. <laughs> Invisible question marks and parenthetical you knows and you know what I'm saying have been attaching themselves to the ends of our sentences, <laughs> even when those sentences aren't, like, questions. <laughs> Declarative sentences, so-called because they used to, like, you know, declare things to be true, okay? As opposed to other things that are, like, totally, you know, not. <laughs> They've been infected by this tragically cool and totally hip interrogative tone. As if I'm saying, don't think I'm a nerd just because I've, like, noticed this, okay? I have nothing personally invested in my own opinions. I'm just, like, inviting you to join me on the bandwagon of my own uncertainty. <laughs> yeah. What has happened to our conviction? Where are the limbs out on which we once walked? Have they been, like, chopped down with the rest of the rainforest? <laughs> you know? <laughs> or do we have, like, nothing to say? <laughs> Has society just become so filled with these conflicting feelings of yeah, yeah <laughs> that we've just gotten to the point where we're the most aggressively inarticulate generation <laughs> to come along since, you know, a long time ago? <laughs> So I implore you, I entreat you, and I challenge you to speak with conviction, to say what you believe in a manner that bespeaks the determination with which you believe it. Because contrary to the wisdom of the bumper sticker, it is not enough these days to simply question authority. You gotta speak with it, too. <laughs> Thank you.